For this setup, I'm going to be demonstrating an issue with mole devices connecting to fake access points that would be set up by an attacker. I have a tablet, Blackberry, iPhone, a pair of Android phones, um, which uh, issues exist with these particular operating systems. I have a legitimate access point that they are all currently connected to. Um, with this camera, it's really tough to see. Um, but the network is D5F. It is a WPA encrypted network. And they are all connected to it. Now the issue is, I'm going to fire up a attack access point, which is inside this APC UPS, um, which is another story uh, to be discussed later. And what's going to happen is, is these mobile devices will connect to the fake access point if, say, with these safe profiles, these devices uh, go on the road, um, which they're always on us at all times, and they're not connected to the home access point. I'll demonstrate this by unplugging the home access point and firing up the fake AP based on the Aircrack Airbase software. And we're going to see these particular devices connect to the attacker's access point. Okay, I have unplugged the device and waited a minute or so to see how these devices would handle the situation. The wireless on the device has stayed on at all times and what we can see is we're showing a D5F open network but in this particular case Android Gingerbread has not jumped to the open one because in the save profile it has a WPA encrypted network. It appears to be the same thing with the iPhone iOS 6. Um, it's identifying D5F but it has not connected to it. Uh, same thing with Android Eclair, um, <laughs> which is the default firmware for a Droid Eris. Um, I just figured I would test this since this is my old phone. It has not connected to anything. And same thing with my tablet running Android Ice Cream Sandwich. You can see there's a D5F, but it has not connected to it. Um, the BlackBerry phone, uh, which happens to be a business phone from Cincinnati Bell Wireless, has actually just jumped to a network called CB Wi-Fi, which is actually a default saved uh, profile that comes with the phone. So this one um, has already connected to uh, the attacker and could potentially be pwned. Next what I'm going to do is turn off the wireless and simulate if they were out in public and they decided to turn it on when they're away from home with the default save profile that has encryption on it. Okay, with this particular setup, um, the home access point has been disabled. We only have the attacker, so we're out in uh, public with our devices. We bring them out, and the wireless right now is turned off on the devices. And what we're going to do is enable the wireless and see what happens. In this particular instance, the only safe profile on the phones is either a default that comes with the device or a home safe profile that had WPA encryption. So if we turn on wireless, let's see what these devices will do. Okay, so I waited a minute after turning the wireless on to see if any of these devices would connect to an open access point where the attacker mimicked the SSID found in one of the profiles. The only profile on these devices, again, is a saved uh, WPA encrypted network. And um, it may be difficult to see, but none of the devices uh, connected to the attacker the only device that did connect was the BlackBerry because it has a default save profile that you cannot remove of CB Wi-Fi. This is similar to the issue identified in AT&T iPhones where it has a default open network of AT&T Wi-Fi. This particular iPhone device uh, is not associated with any service for this testing. Okay, in this particular test, we're going to simulate a if you're out and you connect to an open Wi-Fi network, be it at your hotel or at the local coffee shop, local restaurant, sports bar,
fast food joint, there's open wireless networks everywhere. When you connect with these devices to an open wireless network, it will automatically be saved uh, to your profile so that you can easily connect to it again when you are come back to that particular uh, place. I have changed the settings on this home access point to be an open network called D6F. It could be any name really of your favorite airport, coffee shop, restaurant, hotel. You can see that it is. these devices are all connected. This one's a little tough to see. Um, to D6F. And what we're going to do is enable the attacker is now going to switch themselves on I will unplug the home access point to simulate you are out and about uh, away from the coffee shop, hotel, restaurant, fast food joint, sports bar that you were at. And now you've come in range with the, uh, the particular attacker. Let's see how these devices react to that. This particular test has really, really surprising results. Uh, as you can see, I unplugged the home router, so there is no legitimate D6F in the environment anymore. This device is fired up using Airbase to mimic D6F and any other pro packet that gets sent out on the environment. And ridiculous results. First, the Android devices happily connect to D6F. They just leap over, and you'll see in a second that uh, IP addresses were assigned to these devices. So they stay connected, be it gingerbread ice cream sandwich or going back to Eclair version 2.1. The Blackberry just is ridiculous and it connected back to CB Wi-Fi which is a default uh, that comes with the phone. It didn't even bother connecting to D6F though it's still happily connected to the attacker. The iPhone and this is Android iOS 6. I wish this was clear because what this device is actually doing it is happily connecting to any open access point. All you needed was one open access point saved to the profile. Right now it's it connected to CB Wi-Fi and it hops around. Now it's connected to D5F. Um, and that's only because the device airbase is responding to everything that it sends out. If it was just set up to not respond to everything, right here just connected to uh, Netgear, um, which must be out and about in the environment uh, and my device must have picked that one up. This is not only an issue, a security issue, but this is buggy, uh, to say the least. Um, and we'll see uh, in a second. I'll bring up the interface to show uh, the IP addresses that have been attained by all of these devices. The last part of my test that I want to do, out of all these devices, Android, Blackberry, and iOS, is that has any sort of quote-unquote security options, is the iPhone itself, where it has the option of ask to join networks. Um, from the research I've done about how this works, I believe it's still vulnerable to the issue of uh, an attacker taking advantage of any saved profiles. This video is to demonstrate an issue that I've identified with the uh, Apple iPhone. Uh, this is iOS 6, the latest operating system. This testing has also been done on iOS 5. And the issue is uh, being able to force uh, the mobile device to connect to a, an attacker uh, setting up a fake access point. 
Uh, to start the demonstration, I am connected to an access point I own and control, D5F. It is a WPA encrypted network. If you have any encrypted network saved to your profile, and only encrypted network saved to your to, saved to the the um, the device profile, the wireless profile, you won't have any issues with the device. Now, notice that the acid join network setting is on; it'll be on throughout this testing. Uh, what I'm going to do next, and this is where the issue comes in is that if you connect to and have a save profile for any open access point it causes plenty of issues with the device uh, both security and kind of uh, I, I would call a bug in how uh, the iOS uh, works with uh, access points so I'm going to connect to D4F another access point that I own and control happens to be open no encryption on it we're going to wait for it to connect and I'm actually going to stop the video and take a picture of it so it's clear because it is fuzzy. I'm filming with uh, my uh, my own personal cell phone because it happens to be the best camera that I own. Okay, so we're connected to D4F, which is an open access point. The D4F. Uh, the open access point that uh, that I control. This represents any access uh, open access point that a typical user would find, uh, whether they go to their favorite coffee shop or a hotel network or anywhere from fast food joints um, to uh, your local bar. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to turn off D5F and D4F by unplugging the devices. And this will show now. This will show that all right, those access points don't exist anymore. Um, but like I said, whenever you connect to a device, it's automatically saved in a profile, which you're not able to view uh, in iOS. You cannot just bring up a list of previous uh, profiles that you've saved to you know remove uh, ones that you don't want. Uh, what you have to do is actually be within range of the actual device. Um, Okay, uh, done taking a, uh, a clear picture of the device. So we have uh, wireless turned on, asked to join networks, uh, and there's two save profiles on the device. Uh, D5F is a WPA encrypted network that is that we have connected to, and D4F, which is an open access point that we've connected to. Both of those APs uh, have been unplugged, so there's no access points. The D8F uh, you can ignore. That's another access point I have set up for other testing. So what we're going to do is uh, start up um, a script uh, using Airbase from the Aircrack suite, uh, which is configured to mimic an access point as well as to listen to any probe packets that get sent out from mobile device and laptop uh, wireless profiles looking for an access point that uh, it's familiar with and that it can connect to. So we're going to start that up and we're going to watch and see what the phone does. So after some trouble with the Airbase script, I have it running now and it is uh, listening for probe packets uh, waiting to respond uh, to mimic any access point in a device's save profile. In this particular instance, we have uh, two save profiles, one to an encrypted network uh, D5F uh, and one to an open network uh, D4F. Now what you just saw happen is the device connected to 2Wire739. That's a pro packet from some other device that it decided to mimic and the iPhone happily connected to it even though that's not even a device in a save profile. Um, we have asked to join network set and one of the other issues, and I would consider this uh, definitely a bug, it, um, it hops to any access point that Airbase mimics. So you can see it uh, was briefly on uh, an access point called Netgear, again a faked access point by Airbase, and now it just hopped back to 2Wire739. Uh, it'll actually continue to do this 
for any of the probe packets in the air that Airbase is responding to. Um, again, I see this as a bug. However, it is connected to Airbase. It has received an IP address, uh, the one as part of the range that uh, I've set up and configured. Uh, I'm going to stop the video now so I can take uh, pictures uh, uh, that are in focus um, to document this.